Hi everyone, welcome to GemChem. Now today's video is on inorganic polymers part 5 video. And here we are going to deal with silicone rubbers, silicone resins and silicone greases. Now before starting, already 4 videos are uploaded in channel. You can watch it. I will give the link in the description box as well as the i button present above this video. And if you are new to GemChem, do not forget to subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon for regular updates. Now let us start. Now in the previous video we have dealt with silicone oils and here we are going to deal with silicone rubbers. So silicones are classified into silicone rubbers. These are long chain polymers with effective cross linking between the chains. And these are made by hydrolysis of R2SiCl2 or even R2SiSO4 followed by polymerization. So how this preparation is made we have already seen in the preparation video that is most probably part 3 video you can watch it. Next is that the R3 SiO SiR3 that is siloxin is subsequently added to the reaction mixture to control the chain length of the polymer and they contain cross linking type silicones having SiO2 or zinc oxide as fillers and vulcanizers in form of dibenzoyl peroxide. So we use here SiO2 or ZnO as fillers and dibenzoyl peroxide as vulcanizer. Now it can withstand the temperature up to 400 to 540 degrees Celsius in time scale 200 hours to 90 hours. Thus used as a material for sealing joints of heavy industrial gadgets. So far we have already seen that silicones can bear huge amount of temperature. So this is one of the most important advantages of silicone materials, right? Now we are going to see the preparation of these kinds of silicones, that is silicone rubbers. Now the cross-linked of Silicone is done when two linear silicones are linked to one another by a CH2CH2 linkage. This is achieved by taking in same reaction mixture along with dialkyl dihydroxosilanol and a very small amount of dibenzoyl peroxide which is added after the certain amount of chain length is achieved. Now what is dibenzoyl peroxide? This part is important. Dibenzoyl peroxide is C6H5, C double bond O, oxygen, oxygen, C double bond O, C6H5. This is dibenzoyl peroxide, right? And here there undergoes a radical cleavage. So here is the peroxy bond and here we are going to see a radical cleavage. So ultimately we will get two molecules of this radical C6H5, C double bond O, O dot and this is very much important. Now see this particular moiety is helpful in the reaction. This dibenzoyl peroxide undergoes dissociation to generate the reactive benzoyl radical and this is our benzoyl radical which abstracts hydrogen atom from a linearly progressing silicone chain. So we will see how it abstracts the proton from a linearly progressing chain. So suppose this is our silicone having here a CH3, another CH3 here, right? And then here oxygen and here the radical is placed C6H5 C double bond O O dot. Now this on reaction ultimately forms O S I O and here CH3 and one of the proton is abstracted right. So here CH2 dot. This is being generated and this undergoes further reaction. So if we have two molecules of this, then what happens? 
two of them can combine form ultimately this type of moiety that is here our chain continues here we have oxygen silicon oxygen and here CH3 here is our CH2 CH2 another silicon from another molecule oxygen oxygen here the molecule continues and here is our CH3 in the down portion so we can write it here CH3 so this is how our silicone rubber can be formed now the extent of cross-linking is controlled by the amount of peroxide you add the amount of peroxide is very much important to control the chain length and it also controls the property of rubber other forms of cross-linking are also known such as those when acyl groups are introduced sometimes these acyl groups gets introduced okay and some uses of silicon rubbers are also seen so we will see the uses right so the uses are in preparation of tires of extreme fast moving vehicles it is also utilized as insulators and connectors of socket and plug and preparation of material tubes for space soils so to collect samples from space soils the tubes used are made up of silicone rubbers so it has immense usefulness right next we will deal with silicone resins this is obtained by blending the silicones with various organic resins such as acrylic ester okay now in hydrolysis of ch3 whole to sicl2 is carried out in presence of ch3 sicl3 and the polymerization is allowed to continue one obtains cross-linked as well as linear silicones with branches okay to this silicone if at certain stages of polymerization if organic ester or acid are added then in presence of metal ion these hydroxyl containing portion of the polymer is obtained at that stage then it interacts with c double bond o or OCOO group resulting in formation of silicone in which the peripheral OH group of growing polymer are blocked by organic units. Previously we were blocking the OH using siloxane but in this case we block the peripheral group using some kind of organic unit. So if we want to see it just see here. So what happens suppose there is a chain SICH3 and here is OH going on and here we have O with a silicon attached right and the silicon has OH groups in both sides and the CH3 right now we add some organic unit like this suppose an acid is being added what happens this particular oxygen's lone pair attacks this electrophilic center and here this occurs this comes back and OH goes away ultimately what we get is this whole chain SI OH CH3 and the organic unit which is OCO so this is not the organic unit the oxygen was previously also present so this is o c o c h 3 if we take the c h 3 then it will be c h 3 or we can write r this can be taken as c h 3 then it will be acetic acid and if we do not take it c h 3 r can also be taken so this is how we generate silicone resins now we will see the uses of silicone resins so it is used as insulators in electrical equipments preparation of molds in tire industry and used as resinous release coating in cooking ware. right now the last topic for this discussion of silicones is silicone rubbers right 
This is made by adding carbon block, soaps or finely dispersed SiO2 to silicone oils. And we have already seen the preparation of silicone oils in the previous video, right? Now, these silicone greases prepared from a medium containing lithium soap are used for ball bearing operating at very high speed and high temperature. Now, they are Vaseline-like and are lubricants in aeroplanes since they do not solidify at temperature as low as minus 40 degrees Celsius and do not melt at temperature as high as 200 degrees Celsius. So, they are low temperature tolerant as well as high temperature tolerant. So, they are so much important in different industries. Right. So, here we end the topic of silicones. And from the next video of inorganic polymers, we will see boron nitrogen compounds, specifically inorganic graphite known as borazin. So, hope this was helpful. Thank you for watching. Do not forget to like, share, subscribe and comment. Thank you.